Create a plan to improve your life 1000% this year. Now that you've reflected on 2019, because you've done that, right? You're ready to plan for 2020. Of course, you should start by creating a 10-year plan to make sure you have an epic decade, and I show you how to that in this post. Once you have your 10-year plan in place, you can create a plan for each 0 f the 10 years, so that each one will help you move your 10-year agenda forward. One way you can do this is by planning how to improve each year, starting with 2020, by 1000%. Here's the process to follow. Choose X number of goals from 1 to 10. Decide what the top score is for each goal, and what you need to do in order to earn that top score. Come up with a way to break each goal down into chunks, with each chunk worth a certain percentage of the top score for that goal. And that's the process you need to follow in order to improve your life by 1000% this new year. I'm going to explain this in an easy to understand way below, there's some math involved, but it's simple math. Choose how many goals you'll work on you're going to start out by choosing goals that are important to you and will help you to improve your life. How many goals should you choose? Choose between 1 and 10. Do the following. You can choose 10 goals and have each one be worth 100% because 10 times 100 equals 1000. You can choose 5 goals and have each one be worth 200% because 5 times 200 equals 1000. You can choose 4 goals and have each one be worth 250% because 4 times 250 equals 1000. You can choose one really big goal that will a huge impact on your life if you complete it in 2020 and have it be worth 1000%. You get the picture. First example, running for this first example, let's say that you decide that in 2020 you're going to become a runner. That's going to help you become more fit, improve your health, and help you to develop discipline. Here's the process you're going to follow. It's one of 10 goals that you're going to set, so it's worth 100%. Create a schedule of how you'll increase your mileage each week. For example, in week 1 you can choose to run 3 times and run a third of a mile each time, for a total of 1 mile. If you're athletic, you can choose to be more aggressive with your first runs. Add up how many miles you plan to run each week, start with 1 mile on week 1 and increase every second week between 5 and 10%. Then, add up the miles that you plan to run in total for the year. Let's say that it adds up to 200 miles. This means that your top score for running is 200 miles. If you run 200 miles in 2020, you give yourself 100% for that goal. If you run 150 miles you give yourself 75%, if you run 100 miles you give yourself 50%, and so on. Second example, losing weight suppose that your second goal for 2020 is to lose 36 pounds. Then the process would look as follows. You can give yourself 100% for this goal at the end of the year if, by December 31st of 2020, you've lost 36 pounds. This means you're going to lose 3 pounds each month, 12 times 3 equals 36. Each month that you lose 3 pounds, give yourself a score of 8.33, 112 Therefore, if you lose 3 pounds in 10 out of the 12 months of the year, give yourself a score of 83.3, x 10. Third example, reading more books If one of your goals is to read more books, decide how many books you plan to read in 2020. Suppose you decide to read 10 books. Decide which 10 books you're going to read. Then, for every one of these books that you read, give yourself 10%. If you read 3 of the 10 books in 2020, then give yourself 30% for this goal. If you read all 10 books, give yourself 100%. Fourth example, build a meditation practice Your fourth goal could be to start a meditation practice. Let's say that you've decided to achieve this goal by completing a 365-day project. Your project is the following, you're going to meditate every morning of 2020 for 10 minutes. Here's the process you're going to follow. Meditating every morning of 2020 gives you 100%. Every day that you meditate for 10 minutes, give yourself a score of 0.274. 100 365 Sum up your totals monthly, and then sum up how much you got each month to give you a total for the year. Therefore, if you meditated 273 days of the year, your score would be 74.8, 273 by 0.274. Fifth example, wake up earlier if you currently wake up at 7.30 a.m. and you set a goal of waking up at 6 a.m. by the end of the year, then waking up 90 minutes earlier by the end of 2020 would get you the top score of 
This means that every minute that you wake up earlier is worth 1.11. So, if you're waking up at 6.30 a.m. by the end of the year, 60 minutes earlier, you give yourself a score of 66.6, 60 by 1.11. Sixth example, learn a new skill let's say that another way in which you're going to improve your life 1000% in 2020 is by learning a new skill. Specifically, you decide that you want to learn to blog so that you can create a new source of income. You decide to structure your goal as a 12 by 12 challenge which means you're going to complete one challenge each month of the year. You deconstruct the skill of blogging into 12 subskills, and you create a challenge for each subskill. Suppose you come up with the following subskills. Subskill 1 How to use and manage WordPress Subskill 2 How to write for the web Content creation Subskill 3 Search engine optimization CO. Subskill 4 Copywriting Craft compelling copy Subskill 5 Grow and convert traffic Subskill 6 Online marketing Subskill 7 Using Twitter effectively Subskill 8 Instagram marketing Subskill 9 Using Pinterest to promote your brand Subskill 10 How to write an ebook Subskill 11 Branding Subskill 12 Using visual elements to enhance your blog posts each subskill that you learn gives you 8.33%. If you've learned all 12 skills by the end of the year, give yourself 100%.